Hey y'all, so um, here I am working on Dave's uh, car again, and um, I figured I would uh, give you guys a little bit of a pointer on wiring when you're doing your gauges, and uh, so you don't end up with a giant rat's nest underneath your your you know your dashboard or anything like that. And uh, honestly, you can reuse a majority of the wiring that came from the factory. So. Uh, this is my approach to that, and um, uh, I'll explain a little bit of what's going on with these gauges because, well, they don't fit when you pick them up. We got the Prestige 5 gauges from uh, Automator, and uh, they're two and a quarter inch gauges. The holes are two and five sixteenths, so they slip right through. Um, so uh, I'll show you guys my answer solution to that and uh let's go ahead and and uh let's move forward with this right. so what we have is like i said these are the autometer prestige gauges um 720 dollars through uh speedway motors um they are beautiful gauges and they're going to work out perfect for the merc um, it, they're just, it just, they fit the color, they fit the inside interior and all that. Well, two things. The speedometer is too small for the Merc. It does, it's not as big as we thought it was. It's not the five inch gauge. And it's still, even if it was a five inch gauge, it wouldn't work with this. So it was, I'm kind of relieved that it was a smaller gauge. Um, and then on these guys, you can't really see, but there's little bit of a I don't know uh, you can't really see it can you well anyway these guys are just kind of like floating in there right they I've, I've got them mounted but they're floated and here's what I did so this with this guy with it with the speedometer um I wanted to use the original chrome um I wanted to keep the dash as original as possible so what we did is my friend Brian and I went looking around and uh, thank God Brian's a, a hoarder and he had an old turbo housing. So what I did is I machined out this piece of aluminum around, or sorry, this piece of aluminum around the, for the, the fits inside the bezel and then made it so that the, the gauge would slip inside the, the, the aluminum, right? So that worked out pretty good. Thing was, is we didn't have any indicator lights for our brights. So I went ahead and I drilled small holes underneath the gauge and um, made the holes bigger. And then I installed LEDs. So the LEDs would be our uh, flashers and our high beam indicators, right? So that's that. Then on these guys. So this wasn't something I really, you know, there was, I was playing with, okay, well, let's go ahead and get some screws. We'll attach stuff from the back and, and all that. Well, I got online and went to, um, Autometer's, uh, mounting solutions on their website. If you go to autometer.com, go to the mounting solutions. Um, they have in the very last page, they have these little rings that, adapt two and a quarter up to to fit inside uh, a larger hole well what i did was i ended up cutting the rings down so that the rings would fit inside of here and we grabbed some quick steel uh a quick steel putty kind of like play-doh um we grabbed some quick steel and you know kneaded it all together and all that and we used quick steel to mount the gauges, the the little plastic mount mount solutions, into our dashboard after cleaning it up nicely and all that stuff. So now they are 100% mounted, right? They don't go anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. Then you got the now, now you're looking at wiring. Well, you know I've seen people run one power wire to each gauge. And, you know, then you get a jumble of power wires and one ground each gauge. Then you get a jumble of ground. So by the time you get done, you got four, you got five gauges. You got 
og, og eight, eight, nine grounds and five power wires that are all going to be running all up into your gauges alone. And then if you got, you know, your add your cigarette lighter and there's going to be a little start button right here, you add all that stuff in and I mean, you got a jumble of crap, you know, it's just, it's a rat's nest. So here's the, here's the solution to that. Pick a starting point. For me on the ground, it was over here on the cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter to gauge, to light, to light, to gauge, to speedometer gauge, the ground, we'll go this one, we'll go right here to speedometer gauge, right here to the, the ground, we're positive, go to the speedometer gauge, and on, so forth, so on. And then right here is our ground wire, and right here is our 12 hole ignition wire. So um, this is all powered up with just these two wires. I used 14 gauge, plenty enough, for the amount of uh, power that's going to be needed to be drawn by these gauges. Um, I am going to run the power wire to the ignition source, but the ignition is fused, so we're not worried about that, right? Um, that's all done by the, you know, through the, through the factory. So we're not changing anything. Now, the only thing I have to do now is when we get inside the car, when I go to install it in the car, before I go to install it in the car, is I have to cut all of the send wires and put spades on them and then I have to cut all the illumination wires and put spades on them and then I will put spades on these I will put spades on well I'll put a, uh, I don't know what I'll do with this yeah I'll probably put a spade on these and put a spade on these and this will have its own individual ground so will these because they are LED I don't want them to go through here different resistance values there's it, I don't know I'm, I'm afraid it might cause issues with the LEDs working correctly or the actual lights, maybe. I don't know. I just don't want to run it that way. I'll just run it the way that I just sent it. So, um, yeah, they'll have their own ground. Um, in order to make sure I knew which one was my left turn and right turn, I did mark the green wire with silver, and then silver is left. See? So now it's when I put this up inside the dashboard, I'll get this plate screwed on. I'll get this mounted in place, and then all, all it is is just plug and play. Everything's all done, ready to go. So it keeps this in here. As sanitary as it already is. The whole part of this, the whole reason for this, cleanliness is godliness. Gotta love it. See y'all later.